Hi, in this video today we're going to try to fix this Apple MacBook Air from 2017. So this has been working fine until I went to update it earlier. Then when it went to restart, I walked away from it. I've come back expecting it to be updated and now I can't turn it on. So hopefully we might be able to get it working by just doing various different button combinations. So I thought I'd get the camera, start filming it because it may help other people out. So to begin with, I know already that the battery on this is already charged because I was charging it earlier today. But obviously, if you're not sure, just plug it in and leave it for a while and make sure that it is fully charged. Obviously you have the little light on there to indicate that. So what I'm gonna to do to begin with is I'm just gonna hold down the power button for 10 seconds just to force it off. So here goes. Just counting to 10 seconds in my head. Okay, and now I'm gonna to go to turn it back on. And as you can see, nothing's happening. So the next thing we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna to try to reset the NVRAM. And to do that, we're going to hold down these four keys, the command, the option key, also known as the alt key, and P and R. So these two are P, and then I'm going to turn it on. And here goes. And I'm going to keep holding these four keys down. Right, okay, so we're not having much luck. So I'm gonna go straight for the SMC reset, which is the System Manager Controller Reset, and I'm hoping this is gonna work. So for this, I'm actually gonna unplug it from power. Again, just in case it is on, I'm gonna hold it down for 10 seconds. And the keys we wanna hold down are Shift, Control, and Option key, or Alt, and the power button for 10 seconds. So holding these three down and the power button, for 10 seconds. Okay, and now release. And now I'm gonna to go to turn on the laptop again. Let's see if it does anything. No, it's still not doing anything. So now I'm gonna do the same thing again, but this time I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna see if the light flickers when it's been reset. We're on orange at the moment. I'm gonna let go. Yeah, it's gone to green. So it looks like it is doing something, but it's still not displaying. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if it's displaying on an external display in case I've got an issue with my screen or my backlight. What I have noticed is when I press the power button, I can actually hear it trying to start up. So you can just hear the fan spin just for uh, a split second. So listen to this. Yeah, it just sounds like a little scratching noise just for a few seconds. Right, let's get the external display. Pretty sure this is not gonna make any difference at all, but I'm definitely on the correct input here, HDMI one, and I've got it plugged into the Mac here. Let's turn it on now and see if anything's gonna happen. Now, nah, so it's not a display problem. The laptop itself is not turning on. No, right, let's try some other things. Right, so I'm plugged back in now and the power button's been held down again for 10 seconds. What I'm gonna try now is recovery mode. So I'm gonna hit the command button and R and then turn the laptop on. So command R and power button. And nothing's happening. I can just hear the fan moving ever so slightly when I do that. Right, now I'm gonna do alt or options command and R. And again, power. Right, I think I'm running out of options now. I think I am gonna to have to uh, take the back off and possibly just disconnect the battery and see if that does anything. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 screws around the back. Make sure you take note of the location of them because they are different from each other. And I'm using a P5, a Pentalobe 5 screwdriver. Okay, now we're just gonna lift it off like so. And here we have the battery here. So I'm just gonna zoom in. Now yours will look different than this because this has had multiple repairs on it. I've just seen the fan going round. There you go, look, the fan's trying to, the fan's spinning now. Look, it's like boot looping. Look at that. And that's the noise I can hear. 
So even though I was pressing the power button down, it's not actually turning it fully off, is it? Right, it's just a little tab here that helps me pull it out. There we go. Right, now, it's not plugged into the power and uh, the battery's undone. So I'm just gonna leave it disconnected now for a little while. In fact, what I can do is I can try to turn it on and that should drain the power. Maybe that's it, maybe it's just been stuck in a boot loop. So I'm gonna just hold down the power button now. Right, so now let's plug it back in, see if it's gonna spring back to life. Well, we're in there. And it's not doing it now. So maybe that's all it needed. I'll do the screws up in a minute. Let's just see if it's gonna do anything. I've got a backlight, come on. Yes, brilliant, fantastic. Oh, what a relief. Because my daughter uses this a lot. She'd be heartbroken if it was to fail. Oh, I'm well happy with that. Right, I'm just gonna let it go through. I may have to uh, finish off the, the update. So here it is and the update went through and you can see there it is fully up to date which is fantastic. So uh, in this instance holding down the power button did not actually remove power from this machine. I physically had to disconnect the battery while the power was not connected to it and then of course it had no choice but to turn itself off. You've seen that that fan was stuck in some sort of boot loop. So hopefully one of those combination of buttons or putting the battery out will also fix your MacBook as well. If it did, put it down in the comments because then it will help other people out. If you did something else to fix your MacBook, again, put it down into the comments because somebody searching for this video, reading your comment might then fix their MacBook. So it helps everybody. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very soon. Take care, everyone.